Hi, it's Monty from Sportive Cyclist and in this video I am going to be reviewing my Castelli Perfetto ROS gloves. There's only so much you can say about gloves, but I'm going to say it. Let's get into the video. So, if you are new to this channel, my name is Monty and this is Sportive Cyclist. I make videos from the perspective of an enthusiastic but distinctly unfit mammal. Now, if you've been watching this channel for a while or if you've read my blog, you will know that I am a massive fan of my Castelli Perfetto cycling jersey. What you might not know though is that I do tend to get very cold hands. In fact, I suffer from is it called a syndrome? I suffer from a condition called Raynaud's, whereby uh, if it's particularly cold, the blood moves away from the extremities of my fingers, and you'll see they go, I get sort of white tips. It's almost even starting now, and it's the middle of October, but I get some very cold fingers. I'm always on the lookout for good quality gloves. Over the last four or five years, I've been using a set of seal skin winter gloves which are very thick and sometimes make the bike pretty difficult to uh, operate not so much steering wise but changing the gears i saw that castelli did these perfetto gloves they sort of fulfill a function which is slightly below the winter the heavy thick winter glove that i've got already but provides slightly more protection and warmth versus um, a sort of mid-season glove or the mitts that you might wear during the summer. Let's dive into the gloves. So the gloves are predominantly made out of the same material as the Perfetto jersey, which from memory I think is a type of Roubaix Lycra. It's stretchy, it's not waterproof, and so these gloves are not waterproof. Inside you can see here they've got a slightly furry inner. Outside a sort of smooth almost wetsuit like material but actually quite pleasant to the touch and I know from extensive experience with my Perfetto jersey that this material really is excellent at keeping me in particular because all I care about is me warm even in pretty horrific wet conditions but despite being quite warm the material itself isn't particularly thick nor is it heavy. You've got the nice sort of Castelli decals logos here and you've got it says Perfetto there. Those are reflective. These are black gloves so they're not going to be the most visible. In terms of features we've got these grippy type pads. So in terms of features, we've got a stretchy cuff here that allows you to get the gloves on and off without too much hassle. On the palm of the glove, you've got these pads here which have got these rubbery, rubberized type nobbles, which is a technical term, which presumably provide a bit of extra grip when you're uh, holding the handlebars. You've got these two lines here on these two fingers, the ones that do a V, which are reflective, which means that you can use those hopefully to indicate to drivers behind you if you're turning. And then on the thumb here, there's a bit of material which is for... Oh, well that doesn't work. I thought it was going to be used. Can it be used to manipulate your phone? Answer. So to be honest, I really got no idea what these are used for. Uh, maybe they provide an extra bit of grip and dexterity when you are wearing the gloves. Hi, it's Monty from the future here interrupting this review to tell you that I was absolutely wrong about what I said relating to these pieces of fabric on the tips of my forefinger and thumb. They absolutely do work the touch screen on an iPhone. I don't know what happened when I was making the review earlier. Perhaps they got a little bit of stage fright, but to confirm these bits of material on the tips of these two digits, they work. Back to the review. I think that's pretty much it in terms of features. So what do they feel like when they're on? Well, apart from looking slightly dodgy in this setting here, they're, well, they're gloves really, but they're pretty comfortable gloves. I mentioned already that their material is quite thin, 
they're very easy when riding the bike to both steer, ideally, that's a good thing, braking, changing gears, all of these sorts of things. Taking things in and out of your pocket, again, pretty straightforward because they don't have the bulk and the heft of your winter gloves. But because they are the Castelli Perfetto material that I know and love, they do keep my hands very warm in foul weather conditions. The cuffs around the wrist here fit nice and snug and I can slide them underneath my jersey or what have you to provide a pretty solid weather barrier here, which is excellent. Now, a consideration when you are buying anything from Castelli or any other Italian clothing manufacturer is sizing because they seem to be pretty optimistic. So I thought I would show you at least how big my hands are, which is obviously revealing a lot about myself. Now, I think that the standard hand measurement is around your wrist here. Now, I am approximately eight inches around the hand here, but what's that in centimeters? About 20 centimeters. And these are a size medium. I'll be honest, I did go and try them on in a shop years ago, actually, and then subsequently bought them on the internet. These fit well, so medium size for that sort of size of hand. When I get around to editing this video, I'll probably flash up what the Castelli website says in terms of sizing, and we can check whether the measurements I just reeled off seem to fit or not. So what do I like about these gloves? Well, there's not much not to like when you're someone like me that is a bit of a Castelli Perfetto fanboy. I like the fact that they match my Perfetto jersey. I like the fact that they're lightweight, but they provide a considerable amount of protection from the wind and the rain and the other elements. To be honest, if Castelli made a business suit out of Perfetto material, I'd probably buy one. Is there anything that I don't like about these gloves? Well, I wouldn't say it's something that I don't like, but one thing that I have appreciated on other gloves, which I can't see is here, is a sort of a snot strip, for a want of a better term. Somewhere on the gloves where you can have a bit of a softer material that you might use just to wipe away a bit of moisture or goobers from underneath your nose uh, when you're riding. To be honest, it's a little thing. Beyond that, oh, I just noticed that in addition to having the pad on the palm of the gloves for providing extra grip, there is in fact an extra piece of padding here, right in the middle bottom part of the palm, which on my hand here is approximately here. Now this is where I think two nerves, could be the ulna and the median nerve, come into the hand and excessive sort of uh, vibration and uh, straining of those Straining? Do you strain a nerve? And I think carpal tunnel syndrome. So presumably the purpose of these pads here is just to provide a bit of extra protection on longer rides, just to prevent that happening as well, which is a nice touch. So to wrap up this rather inadequate review, how much do they cost? Well, they cost, checking my notes, 65 pounds in the UK, $70 in the US, which I don't think the exchange rate is quite a parity, so presumably slightly better value in the US. You can pretty much buy them anywhere. Amazon Wiggle here in the UK. I think Competitive Cyclist is one of the ones that I've seen in the US. I'll supply some links in the description below this post if you are interested. Hopefully you found this review somewhat useful. It's hardly the most comprehensive, but at least shows you the gloves in person as opposed to just a series of pictures on my blog. I think I've already given you the impression that I'm a big fan of them. So if you fancy having some nice, warm, but somewhat lightweight gloves, then I certainly recommend the Castelli Perfetto ROS gloves. That brings this video to a close. I hope you found it useful. If you did and you want to see more of them, then please do hit the subscribe button and also the bell icon. It'd be great if you also clicked the thumbs up icon because every little helps. I've been Monty, this is Sportive Cyclist, the Mammal Channel. I'll see you in the next video.